Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> well, I was walking my friend's dog, and he um, dragged me onto the beach and onto the ice. And there was an area where the ice was very thin, and I felt scared. The resident of uh, 333 Candy Avenue heard the girl screaming um, and called 911 immediately. It was up to my neck. But you couldn't get out? No, because the ice was so slippery because the water was splashing out. It felt like my body was about to be paralyzed. And... I could see she was a good distance off the shore. She was about 50 yards off the shore. And uh, obviously I could see her just her head sticking out of the water. And, uh, you know, thank God I was able to just make it out to her. and was able to pull her out in one you know, swoop and crawl back to shore with her. When we were getting closer to shore, the ice thinned out and we both just kind of fell through. I just kind of handed her off and you know, tried to get out myself. Were you thinking about how cold it was? Or? No, you're not really thinking about that. You know, As long as she was okay, you think about her well-being, that's about it. Chuck Hartman, one of our firefighters, uh, donned his suit and we had our rescue personnel uh, save the, the dog. We have a lot of uh, animal uh, lovers in our department and um, it feels great, you know. A dog is a human life as well.